Hey guys, Johnny here from Ignite. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at text and human experiences, which has caused much controversy due to the lack of area of study or is it still an area of study? We'll go into it in this video, but do me a favor, please like and subscribe this video if you enjoy it. Do that now with the subscription and that way you'll be notified if you click the bell as well of any new videos that we bring out. We'll keep pumping out this content for you. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and enjoy. So with text and human experiences, the consensus is that there's no more area of study. Nessa made a big change in the syllabus and this is essentially how it reflects in the exam structure where before in your first paper, and the exam takes place over two days, paper one, paper two, in paper one, you used to have three sections, all worth 15 marks, that were based around a particular area of study, or basically a concept. In the last few years, it was discovery. In the five years or so before that, it was belonging. So you would have these concepts, and you would then study texts that related to that and write an essay on it, you would then take the idea of discovery or belonging and write a story about that. And then you would be presented with comprehension texts that you would also have to analyze through the lens of discovery. So discovery was guiding effectively your perspective into a text. And that's the essential difference that we're gonna be talking about when we come down to the new syllabus, when we come down to the new exam structure, where we have paper one, you'll see there's no creative writing section, they maintain the comprehension and the essay component, although they're both worth 20 marks now instead of 15, and you'll be given 45 minutes instead of 40 for each of these sections. And when you do these sections, what you need to keep in mind is that no longer are you actually looking at a text through a conceptual lens that has been prescribed to you. What do I mean by that? No longer are we looking at discovery as a concept and then viewing the text that you're studying, whether in comprehension or in class, through that discovery mindset. Get rid of the discovery mindset. Now what we're doing is we're actually just looking at the text at face value, if you like, still through the lens of a rubric, you're still guided in how to interpret the text, but there's no conceptual limitations placed upon you. You don't have to look at a text through the lens of discovery, through the lens of belonging. Rather, you study the text, and you see what comes out from that text. Is it about discovery? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's about power, maybe it's about greed. You have to determine, and of course your studies at school will determine what perspective you take on what particular human experiences are being explored. But the point is, discovery, belonging, all those past area of studies were all different facets. They were all subsets of a broader category of human experience. And right now, the new syllabus is trying not to constrain you into one particular conceptual focus when clearly, when you study a text, they are capable of such a diverse range of meaning and interpretation that you shouldn't necessarily be constricted to one lens. Now, I actually quite liked the idea of grabbing something like discovery and looking at a text through that lens. I quite liked that because it forced you to be critical through a particular perspective. And you see people in literary theory do that so much. Often you'll see something that says, oh, a feminist perspective of this would say X. What's happening there is someone has chosen or maybe naturally they have that perspective, but they are essentially assuming a particular stance and way of thinking when they look at what a text means. So there's like a presumed focus for a particular text. You're almost superimposing an idea or perspective onto the intentions of the composer but we're not doing that anymore. The new syllabus says, read the text, study the text, and you can determine what human experiences come out of that. So what's the ultimate effect of this? It's much broader. There could be numerous perspectives or ideas or areas of study that emerge out of a particular text. So you have to be far more engaged with the text and see all the potential meaning that could come from it. So that's what they're trying to get you to do. They're trying to get you to study more deeply the focus of a text, and for you to really know the ins and outs of every aspect of it, including the way it's been written, why it's been written, so context, and everything else there is to know about the text, basically. So you need a deep understanding there. You can't just rely on linking certain things to a particular idea. You need to know how certain aspects 
could be linked to a whole range of ideas. Now, that might sound very daunting for you because now there's no specific focus, and I agree with you, but there is still a rubric to focus on. There is some kind of direction, and I will be providing you in the next video with what I call a structure or a cycle that you can always come back to when you look at what a text is about for text and human experiences. So the key focus, the key takeaway from this is that it's now the text that determines what the area of study is. It's not the area of study that determines how a text is to be read. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you did. Share the video around. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do like the content, subscribe to our channel and we'll have more videos coming your way. That's right guys, thanks for watching and please make sure you check out our online resource database. We've had a team of state rank achievers and heads of English put these together for you, covering everything from essay structures and examples all the way through to craft of writing and comprehension skills. So check them out at ignitehse.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.